Aha. Uh -huh. Welcome back guys. That was a short long break. So, we're back. Penalties and offenses. Wow, 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 wow. Penalties guys, penalties. Kichapo. Eh, what are what are these penalties and uh, offenses? I mean, we can start with maybe the offenses, huh? What are some of the offenses that people do about tax? Um, Nixon. Maybe you can begin with Nixon. Thanks, thanks Maxi. I uh -huh. think it's also important for us to recognize yeah. uh, that these are contained under law. So they are not things that are oh. that carry just implements out uh. of the blue. So these are actually contained under law. Okay. Uh, and, and so we have, as Tatua mentioned, mm -hmm. in taxes we have two things. We have filing, uh -huh. or what we call declaring. So uh -huh. that's declaring your income. Uh -huh. And then we have payment of taxes. Uh -huh. So so you would maybe generally say, you know, lack of those doing those two things mm -hmm. is itself an offense under law. Oh. Yeah, so wow. we, even as we have penalties, yeah. uh, the lack of doing those two is... Is, is an offense. Okay. So maybe in terms of, for example, maybe you wouldn't mention act penalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have penalties regard, related to late filing. Uh -huh. So as we, as we were told, yeah. So the date of filing taxes is 30th of June. Ah, okay. For individual income taxes. Uh -huh. So there is a penalty on if you file after that. After that. So when the penalty is automated, so uh -huh. if you don't file that day, the next day you'll automatically get a penalty. Wow. And then as it goes on, uh -huh. it will accrue interest. Yeah. It will now be penalty and interest. Okay. So there, there is also an offense uh, when you don't pay, uh. because we say paying and and filing should be fo should fall on the same date. Okay. So you just can't file and mm -hmm. then go and not pay. Oh. So those those are are are, are the offenses maybe. Actually, then, you can't file. Yeah, you even can't just file. You have the filing is the fi is the first process. Oh. So you file. Ah. Uh. And then what the, the iTax does, it will uh -huh. compute for you your tax payable. Oh, okay. Or okay. your net of tax. So yeah. it could either be a credit, uh -huh. it, it's called a credit or a debit. Uh -huh. So the credit is, is maybe a, you would say, maybe for lack of a better word, yeah. Gary owes you. Uh, okay. So you can, it's normally advised to offset that. Okay. And then if it generates for you a payment, uh -huh. now you go and pay. That pay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, but I think also it's important for our members to know, even as we are talking about all these kinds of taxes, uh -huh. you know, they are broad as, as tax is really yeah. broad. And, and it's always advisable to get, a, to get someone to, to do for you. It's called a tax health check. Uh -huh. So how you do tax a... Tax health check. Yeah, how you could okay. do a, a checkup on a person. Uh -huh. There's a tax check, health yeah. check. Yeah. So someone just to, to understand you, yeah. for example, your business, yeah. and they are able to advise you to advise you properly, yeah. Um. Okay, awesome. So you say there's failure to file <coughs> the offenses. There's late filing and there's late payment. Um. Tax evasion and false information. I'd like that maybe in terms of offenses. Um. Yeah. Maybe you can yeah, just explain could, tax yeah. evasion and false information. I think for tax evasion, first that would be very illegal. Uh -huh. uh, but first, we, yeah. in tax, maybe we normally say, yeah. there's nothing wrong with, because for example, our tax regime in Kenya, yeah. it's you who assesses, you declare your incomes. Yeah. So I say, for example, if it's me, uh -huh. I've earned this amount, yeah. so I'll tell Kari, I've earned this amount, uh -huh. and now this is the tax. Yeah. So, but, but there's nothing wrong with organizing your tax information uh -huh. so that you pay less tax. Oh. So the avenues, there are actually legal ways you are able to reduce your tax. Ah, okay. And then, but now tax evasion, those yeah. are illegal means. Ah. So for example, you falsify your books of accounts. Yeah. For example, you you claim in input the uh -huh. where you shouldn't claim. Yeah. Uh -huh. By by getting, for example, wrong invoices. Wrong receipts. Wrong receipts. So those are illegal means. Not even wrong receipts, but false. False, <laughs> false receipts. receipts. Falsified yeah. receipts. And especially now, the false, that's even false information. Yeah, exactly. you know, you are, you are, for example, I say for, I, I have earned 10,000. Yeah. Well, in essence, I have earned 100,000. Wow. So I'm already giving wrong information yeah. to, to, KRA, to KRA. And I'm under declaring now, uh, which, which reduces my tax liability. Okay. Mm. Wow. Wow. So guys, you've had the tax offenses. For the penalties, tattoo. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. I think my friend Nick has mentioned already two types of penalties. penalties. Oh. The first one was a penalty on the tax that you're supposed to pay. It's, oh, okay. it's always a percentage. Uh-huh. Maybe it could be 5% uh-huh. of the tax payable. Or uh-huh. In some cases, it's actually a fixed figure. Uh-huh. Uh, like, for example, in VAT, if you don't file VAT, yeah. it's 10,000 yeah. for that month. Yeah. If you are registered for VAT and you fail to file, uh-huh. it's 10,000. Yeah. You file it, wow. it's 10,000. Mm-hmm. In some cases, it's a percentage. Uh-huh. So it could be a percentage. Yeah. Then after that, it accrues mm-hmm. some interest as he said yeah it could be monthly you'll be told it's one percent of the of the tax payable yeah. every month yeah it goes on accruing wow in some cases it goes to legal action they can take you to a court of law mm-hmm. or to a tax tribunal a tax tribunal is a, a court okay yeah okay. no, yes. that makes sense yes. yeah i thought it's a tribe yes. inside taxing <laughs> in some cases they go ahead even to they get to your property. They can seize your property. Wow. I, have, I know you've had some people whose bank accounts are frozen. Hmm. Let me not mention names. For their assets. Mm-hmm. Yes, those are some of the penalties for the offenses, various offenses. Wow. And what if maybe your property doesn't add up maybe to even pay your tax? They always know what to go for. Oh, wow. If, if they have nothing to come for, they will take you to, to the court. To the court. Yes. Wow. They always have... A, there will be a punishment. Wow. There will be a penalty for every offense. Yes, some of them are just online. You'll be fined. Maybe you haven't filed your returns. Yeah, yeah. You find some 2,000 uh, somewhere. In your, you owe uh-huh. 2,000. Uh-huh. So depending on the mistake that you've done, uh-huh. about the, the offense yeah. that you've committed, uh-huh. there will be a penalty, a, for, a penalty for that. Wow. Yes, and it's, it's in the law. Yeah. Yes, they don't do something that because you already know. Before you Whoa. before you get that pin, you know you need. What, yes, you need to know what what you need to do. Uh yes. your terms. So it, and, it's, and it's and not maybe, unfair. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes. Yeah. Maybe also Maxi just to add on what I said. Yeah. The KRA has a lot of or gets a lot of intelligence. Oh. You know, they they even have an intelligence unit internally. KRA. Yeah, which just to compare information, yeah. you know, information from an individual, mm-hmm. they're able to interpret that and make decisions. Wow. So, for example, uh, let's say an example, Tatua. Uh-huh. Uh, tatua. For example. Yeah, yeah for example. example. <laughs> tatua is paying every month uh-huh. water bill of 250000 Yeah. So, when you know that mm-hmm. and you verify that information is correct, mm-hmm. you know, you, ca- you start making judgments. You know, how can an individual pay 250000 in in water rent? Yeah. You know, so you start you start going back. Maybe he's selling water. Maybe, no. Or, yes, yeah. or he has rental yeah. properties. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. So, so and, and you, you want to check, does he pay ma- uh, the MRI? Ah, MRI. ah okay. And then now yeah. that's how KRA now goes back and starts speaking. Ah. And they're able to catch you for not, wow. paying, not paying your taxes. Wow. Mm. Ish. We have, a, we have an intelligent government, eh? KRA intelligence. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, the penalties are those are, are those only the penalties maybe you said um I know you said about penalty on the tax payable. You said that there's legal action in season of property. Just, maybe yeah, maybe just one we may have missed. I think recently the government has said uh-huh. and then through the commissioner, of uh-huh. course we maybe we missed to say the commissioner is the person who oh. is mandated to collect taxes ah. at KRA. So oh. there's a commissioner for domestic taxes, mm. the commissioner for customs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the commissioner recently noted, for example, in the individual income taxes, which are due this 30th of June, uh-huh. Uh-huh. that they'll deregister your PIN. So if you don't, if you don't wow. file yeah. your taxes, they will they deregister, deregister or cancel it. Oh. So and, and then you just imagine all services require a PIN so well, there is there's so much if you don't. So, yeah. but will, will that like save me on my side? Because maybe my businesses are still continuing. And maybe I'm still that, earning the money. Yeah. But now, yeah. I can say, Gary, like, they registered my PIN. So, I'm safe. Well, maybe you might look at it that way for yeah. me. <laughs> maybe that would be a very short term oh, goal. Yeah. Because let's say you are employed. Oh, yeah. No, Gary... 
cancels your pin uh-huh. so your employer will refuse will not have where yeah. to to pay PYE uh-huh. for example yeah so let's say you need to open a business yeah. so you don't have a KRA pin so yeah, you will yeah. not let's say you want to do a bank account you want uh-huh. to transfer property uh-huh. so you will look at the disadvantages of not having a pin yeah minus the plus the advantage of it being closed yeah i think that disadvantage would be much the yeah. way in more yeah wow um i don't think at my point i'd want my pin to be deregistered but uh yeah let's pay what is due <clears throat> so i think for offenses and penalties maybe just one final question um recently i don't know the payment the percent maybe for um the is it is it what what have you called it like taxable taxable pay i don't know something after if you don't pay there's a certain percent that's uh, maybe if you pay late if you not pay if you file your returns late there's a certain percentage that you're supposed to now it's it's like a penalty um can kra i don't know maybe change their terms like make it high make it low whenever wherever they want maybe let's say if it's 2% they can say oh guys next to yeah if you don't pay you get in a penalty of 20% uh, some of these things yeah carry uh, they are not most of these uh, things are passed uh, there are laws ah, okay okay some of them need to go through the parliament oh yes now be... they don't just wake up and decide uh from tomorrow uh uh-huh. penalty so will be 20 is this thousand are, these are the procedure for everything ah yes okay there's a procedure for everything uh-huh. so it has to go yes you know it affects uh, everyone in in the country. in the country yeah so it has to be maybe passed by the parliament uh huh yeah so the penalties that are there yeah. are legal they are legal yeah but maybe also just to add also yeah. in terms of passing off as that was said yeah these are legal no these are legal provisions so uh-huh. there is just you know just saying it's 20000 uh-huh. so it's actually under law that it's that amount uh, but we also have for example in terms of changes yeah we also have executive orders yeah. issued by the president yeah. so for example when we when covid started yeah. you know the president our president came out and said uh-huh. for example the vat has been reduced from 16% to 14% uh-huh. uh, the income tax rate from 30% to 25 uh-huh. the relief has been increased uh-huh. up to 2400 per month yeah. so these are also there's also that provision of executive uh-huh. orders by, by the president and has has the penalty maybe reduced maybe what's maybe if i can ask you know uh so like the the just they, an individual person maybe yeah, so they were being called covid-19 tax measures uh uh-huh. so but they reverted to normal from 1st january this year uh uh-huh. so from i think from around april last year up to december yeah so people who are employed for example you are getting more money because uh-huh. the tax has gone down yeah. and then for example you remember even other things for example mpesa was yeah. say free under 1000 yeah. but most of them have are now normal, normal as yeah. from past january this year ah yeah oh, maybe okay. also only relief has not changed relief is still 2400 for employed people ah yeah 2400 you yeah you get yeah pass it's personal called personal relief, relief. You get it's like money you are you are given back uh, which 2400, 2400. And it's for Kenyan residents only yeah so an unresident doesn't have personal relief ah uh, okay so man and maybe maybe let's say just for the normal normal person if maybe let's say me if i don't pay my if i don't file my tax by 30th maybe what's my what's the penalty i can pay for that if there's is it is it, is it is it um uh, uh, so 2000 if, if for example 000, you maxwell you don't pay so we let's say we look at you maxwell from two perspectives yeah. you maxwell as a as a person yeah and then maxwell company limited ah okay. so maxwell as a person uh-huh. it's 2000 it's it's 2000 the penalty automatically is 2000 2000 ah and then if it's Mac, maxwell company limited uh-huh. the penalty is 20000 ah but it's com- it, it's not 20000 it's 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 a clause it's either 5% oh. of the tax due uh-huh. or 20000 whichever is high uh so oh. whichever is high whichever is, is high yeah so it's always 5% <laughs> wow or 20000 so if it's 5% and mm-hmm. you are and it was 1000 mm. so you not pay 1000 you pay 20000 the high wow 
That's why it's same called a penalty. As, same case as individual. Oh. It's either 5% or, or 2,000. 2, whichever is higher. Wow. If the tax due is 1,900, yeah. you pay 2,000 because 2,000 is the one that's higher. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 5% of the uh-huh. tax payable yeah. or 2,000, whichever is higher. Wow. That's Guys, for individual. That's, that's the penalty. Wow. I guess that's enough of penalty in this football stadium of taxation. Okay, and next up, guys, as we take our break, we'll be having our one final session, maybe, if I may say, for tax disputes and resolutions and the emerging issues. So stay tuned for that, guys. There's a lot to cover, and there's a lot we've already covered. So thank you so much again. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for being us. I pray and believe that you're still keeping safe and uh, doing business and also paying what's due. Thank you so much. See you in a few.